History proves to be a very popular GCSE course. The topics appeal to those students who've enjoyed it at Key Stage 3, but also it inspires you to learn more about topics that you may not have encountered before. 25% of the course is dedicated towards an in-depth study of the USA, a nation of contrasts. In this unit, we'll look at immigration to the states, push-pull factors. We'll have a look at the end of prosperity and the impact that had. And there's an also an extra section looking at popular entertainment. This exam is an hour long. It's going to be a combination of source-based questions and then knowledge and understanding. You will hit the ground running in year 10, starting in September with the coursework element. This equates to 20% of the overall qualification. It involves writing two essays and use a wide range of sources. All of the training and the skills will be taught to you at the end of year nine and then at the beginning of September. In year 11, you'll sit the Depression, War and Recovery exam. This is also an, an interesting topic, a mixture of source-based and essay-based questions. What was the impact of the Depression? What was life like during wartime? 30% of the course is looking at crime and punishment over a 500 year period. This is examined in a one hour and 15 minute exam at the end of year 11. In this unit, you're gonna look at the causes of crime throughout history, the way in which punish punishment has changed and the different policies that link to law enforcement. We've got a breakdown of the different types of questions that you can expect to see on this paper. As I've mentioned before, this is sat at the end of year 11. The skills that you're going to develop in history GCSE are transferable to a number of different areas. Being able to critically analyse sources is something that you can transfer into a career in law. It's possible that you might want to be looking at healthcare, business. A high literacy subject such as history is always going to be beneficial. If you're interested in history now, at Key Stage 4, you will definitely enjoy the topics. You will enjoy being able to look at things in far more detail. If you want any more information about the History GCSE, I suggest you get in touch with Ms Bowley. I've attached her email to this slide.